Lee again this week. Guess what he was talking about? Can you guess? The one thing that brings joy to his stunted and miserable existence, and that's war. Other people burning each other to death. Max Boot announced a new escalation in his new favorite war, the war in Ukraine. Listen to this. I think the key here is we have to understand that we're, we're making a mistake in the way that we think about the war because we keep thinking about it as their war. The Ukrainians are fighting. We need to think about it as our war. We're not providing Gray Eagle drones that the Ukrainians need. We're not providing as many multiple launch rocket systems as they need. All of us collectively can be and should be doing more because we need to understand this is our fight that the Ukrainians are on the front lines of. It's our war. Hear that, people of, D of Dubuque, Bangor, Gulfport, Spokane? It's your war, not theirs. But the weird thing is, despite the fact it's our war, Max Boot is still in the Morning Joe studio wearing soft shoes. So despite this war's world historic importance and our own personal ownership of it, Max Boot is not actually fighting his war. Nor, even more strangely, is Max Boot sending his own salary to fund our war. What he's doing is what he always does, which is promoting our war. And this is hardly the first war. In Boot's long and not at all varied career as a war promoter, he has demanded that American troops go to war in a dizzying variety of countries. Boot has called for invasions of Syria, an invasion of Iran, as well as a hot war against North Korea, even a war against Saudi Arabia. Quote, if the U.S. armed forces made such short work of a hardened goon like Saddam Hussein, imagine what they could do to the soft and sybaritic Saudi royal family, Boot once wrote, and he was imagining it in great detail. Well, that didn't happen. We never invaded Mecca. Too bad. So Max Boot moved on to calling for the military occupation of Pakistan. P Pakistan. Nuclear armed Pakistan. Let's occupy it. And then Somalia. Those were our wars, too. In 2011, Boot called for a war against Libya. And Hillary Clinton actually did it. And, of course, Boot was one of the main cheerleaders for our war against Iraq. Quote, once we have deposed Saddam, he wrote before the invasion, we can impose an American-led international regency in Baghdad to go along with the one in Kabul to turn Iraq into a beacon of hope for the oppressed peoples of the Middle East. Now, that would be a historic war aim. Is this an ambitious agenda? Without a doubt. Does America have the resources to carry it out? Also, without a doubt. Sure. We can afford it. It'll be easy. Now, trillions of dollars and more than a million dead people later, how did Max Boot's prediction work out? Don't ask. He's got a new war to sell you.